Well, hello again, and welcome back to a series exploring the Hurley Allcraft Minecraft world. This would be video number two, in which we're going to explore the um, Temple of Crafting, which you will see upon entering the uh, Hurley Allcraft Minecraft server world. So, I've got my Minecraft client opened here, and we are going to join the server that's currently running on my LAN. Now, this has a copy of the same server world that we released in March of 2014. And so here you will see the spawn point upon entering the world. Um, before moving on to the server, we'll make some notes just about the, the general design of the spawn point here. As you notice, it's fully ringed, it's lit, and it has four doorways, each one of which are guarded on the outside by soul sand. Now, the purpose of this is for new players that happen to spawn at an inconvenient time, like the middle of the night. Um, they're protected by staying inside of the spawning area. Mobs cannot spawn inside of this because of the light. The wall keeps the mobs out, and as you will see in a minute, once you leave the area, if you try to come back in, you're prevented from doing so because of the too high doorway and the soul sand that is in front of it. So hence, skeletons, zombies, creepers, etc. can't actually go in there and attack new players. Um, we will now go on to the Temple of Crafting itself. Now, as mentioned in um, the previous video, there is going to be lag around the Temple of Crafting, and this has to do with the way that Minecraft seems to render it. In this case, you haven't seen from the side where it attempts to render every one of the internal recipes before it renders the outside of the building. I would suspect that the lag has to do with that. Um, you'll notice as soon as we turn away from the interior of the building, there's very little lag. I can get the door to shut. So, not so bad here. As soon as I turn around and try to view the inside of the building, again, this would be the rendering engine attempting to figure out where every one of the internal recipes is on the walls and then trying to render it even though we can't see it. Um, I'll demonstrate that when we go outside. There's not a whole lot you can do about this. I've tried adjusting the, the various Java memory parameters to see if I can give it more memory, more permanent gen space. Um, the only thing that seems to help it a little bit is adjusting the rendering distance. So in this case, <clears throat> I have my rendering distance set to close. Um, as you can see, to do, do video settings. As you can see here, if I increase this to normal or long, then the effect is, is um, greatly compounded. So it's unfortunate. Hopefully in later versions of the game, you won't experience this kind of lag. But in the meantime, there's not much we can do about it. Okay, so now that we're inside the Temple of Crafting, you'll notice in the hallway here, I have a series of item hangers on both sides of the door, or both sides of the hallway. And each one of these item hangers depicts a recipe that you will find in the corresponding room off to the left or the right. So for basic crafting and smelting, I have the recipes or smelting recipes for every one of the items that you see in the item hangers. Likewise, on the right side of the wall, where we see their armors, if I was to head off to the right over here and to the armor section, I would have all the crafting recipes for armor. So let's go in and see how this is laid out. So looking at the wall, you'll see that I have a series of four squares, which are representative of the four squares on your crafting table. And I have the materials that you can put in those squares, and then what would come out on the other side, just like you would have the four squares here with the arrow and the output from crafting. So in this case, I'm demonstrating that your four wooden planks, you would come out with a crafting bench, and then I've got the actual block placed in the world here. Now, in some cases, rather than duplicate the crafting recipe over four different times for the exact same output, I have alternate inputs, which shows the jungle wood, the birch, the um, pine, and the spruce. Um, any of those are, are materials you can substitute for these four to get the crafting bench. In some cases, there aren't any substitutes. In this case right here, I'm showing a spruce um, block going in and then the spruce planks coming out, and then of course the actual block in the world for the spruce planks. Um, likewise over here for the torch, there's not any substitutes. There's the wooden rod and the lump of coal, and then out comes the torch, and the torch is placeable. 
In some cases, I don't have placeable items, like for the smelting recipes, for instance. The smelted iron doesn't, it, it's not a placeable block, so I don't have a way to actually set it out. So in that case, you just see it in the item hanger. Um, and now that we're actually looking at the smelting recipes too, these are um, laid out a little bit differently. So if we come over here to the furnace, and we open it up, we've obviously got the section for the fuel, then we've got the material you're going to put in to smelt, and then you've got the output. So the crafting recipes for smelting or for anything dealing with the furnace, be it cooking food to melting iron, I only show the input and the output with the assumption that you'll put some appropriate fuel in to turn the furnace on. So if we go over here and look at a smelting recipe again, you will see that I've got the material, I've got a sign down here just acknowledging that you need furnace fuel and then the output with the name of the item that's being created on the sign here. So glass, um, you'll see on the left here the crafting recipe to create the furnace. In this case what I've got is um, the 3x3 three three, um, crafting surface, acknowledging that you can't craft it with the standard 2x2 um, two two crafting area that you have on your character that you're going to actually require a crafting table. Um, some more examples here of things that can be smelted showing wood getting turned into charcoal. So there are four levels to the temple of crafting and there are four areas per each level. So a total of 16 possible areas that you can view. And then at the very top, the roof section, which would be the fifth area, is where the guest rooms and the extra space lies. In the center of the temple of crafting here, I've got a series of furnaces and a series of crafting tables that you can use just ad hoc. So this was laid out again with the idea that somebody might come to the temple with some materials, find the recipe they're looking for, and either need to smelt material or go ahead and craft it. And so there's available, available crafting tables to do so. Um, if you go up to the next level, the layout's very similar except for the center section. So I only have the furnaces and the crafting tables on the first floor. The rest of it is just a um, atrium area through the rest of the floors. Um, so our second level here, if we walk over, obviously we've got foods on the right, or sorry, on the left, and we've got tools on the right. Um, if you were to head into these areas, again, you would see the appropriate recipes either based on a crafting bench or based on a furnace uh, hanging on the wall. So now we're going to head on up to the roof where we can see the um, guest rooms that are available in the Temple of Crafting. And there's also an expansion space. Now, as you may have noticed when we took a peek in where the, uh, the food crafting recipes were, the entire room was not filled. Some of these um, crafting rooms are completely filled up with recipes and some have open space left on the wall. It really depends on what was being added in those areas and in some cases there's space and in some cases not. Some sections were large enough that they actually carry over into more than one section and you'll see on the signs where there's a part one and a part two. Okay, we are now up in the roof area of the um, Temple of Crafting and on one side there is expansion space and on the other side is the visitor and guest room section. So there's not much to the expansion space. This was an area of the temple where when I reached it I didn't have anything left to do. So there's some glowstone thrown in here to prevent mobs from generating in it. But other than that it's just empty space and it can be added to by putting sections in it and putting recipes in if necessary. In the guest room section, it's just a place where visitors can actually hole up for the night, spend a few days, um, figure out what they want to do. Or if they're trying to get materials together and, and craft things, they can do so. It's just a series of rooms, any of which has a furnace, has a crafting table, has a bed, and has an ender chest. So, since ender chests are specific to individual players, this is a really nice way to put the things that you want specific to you in the ender chest and keep other people from taking it. There's actually two levels of guest rooms built into the temple here. Come on, close. 
So this is level one. If you head to the end of the main hallway, and up you go, you will see there's a whole second level of rooms. So more than enough rooms for people that would be on the server. I don't think anywhere near this number of people have ever been on our LAN server at once. So again, plenty of accommodations. So um, unfortunately, sorry about the lag looking at this. Some of you with higher end graphics cards and better systems may not experience as many problems with the lag. Um, it is unfortunate. Hopefully, as I said before, later Minecraft versions will fix it. If I was to go outside, so all the levels of this, um, the Temple of Crafting have a, uh, well, with the exception of the roof, all have a balcony area that you can go out and you can survey. Um, let me demonstrate what the issue is here. Oh, come on. So we'll fly straight out and then I'll turn around and look at the building. may have to change my rendering settings so you can see it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So you've noticed it's just rendered all of the different Minecraft, the recipes inside the building before it even renders the outside of it. So if your rendering engine is doing that, it's obviously doing a considerable amount more work than it really needs to. And so this would be where the really bad lag would come from <clears throat> when you have the rendering settings set to far. Okay, well that concludes what I was going to demonstrate for the Temple of Crafting. Uh, please check back for other episodes on the um, Hurley Allcraft Minecraft server world as we show other parts of it, including towns and the mechanisms in the world. See you next time.